Hey guys, my Ipsy boxes have arrived for December 2024, our last boxes of the year. Let's see how we're going to end this year with a bang or blowout. <laughs> Stick around and you'll find out. All right, so welcome. If you're new here, I am Cher, and today I have got in the Ipsy Glam Bag as well as the Boxy Charm by Ipsy. So we're going to open both of them. I'll swatch up whatever's in here. I typically follow up with a um, try on of everything. I don't know if I'm going to promise that this time or not. We're going to have to see. I'm going to play this by ear because Ipsy kind of got these to me a little later than normal. Um, and it's starting to fall outside your choice period for boxy and add-ons. So I don't know how helpful it'll be anyway. Um, if anything, I'll definitely be trying it on at least in shorts. So check my shorts feed. Um, but I typically follow up with a full try on of everything and do a bunch of first impression reviews, a makeup look or two based on how many palettes we get. I usually do like a long form video on that right after my unboxing, but we're gonna see how that goes just because I have so much content to get you guys and my schedule's packed. The holiday madness has begun. All right, so I also wanna go ahead and let you guys know that I do put timestamps in my caption. So if I start getting too wordy and you wanna skip past the intro here, you can go straight to whichever box you want to see. I get a lot of rude comments about that. So I want to remind you, no need to be rude, just skip to wherever you wanna go to. That is why I do that every month for you. As I said, Ipsy's running a little late on getting these to me, so sorry guys. I think today that I'm filming, it is later on the 2nd of December, um, and your choice period ends tomorrow on the 3rd. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this video up to you guys or not, because it's pretty late in the day. My mail gets here so late. So I'm trying to get this to you as soon as I could. I always like to get it to you early so that you can, you know, so that it helps you with your choice uh, items and all, but I know that you glam bag folks have already made your choices. My cat says he apologizes as well. All right, but let's go ahead and get to unboxing. We have Ipsy Glam Bag first. Looks like our theme for December is going to be Unwrap Joy. So the season we want to find joy in small moments and feel wonder at every turn. So we're hooking you up with delightful surprises and beauty galore to ensure the holidays shine as bright as your glittery eyeshadow. So I do want to let you guys know this is PR for me. I get this gifted by Ipsy each month and I really like that because I tend to get it earlier for you guys so you can kind of see the products ahead of time, um, what you're going to be getting in your boxes. And so... They just send us a little card, some themes in it. So, Ipsy Glam Bag first. And as always, this is my first time seeing it. So, you guys come along for my raw reaction. Oh my gosh, this bag is so beautiful. Look at this. How appropriate for the holidays. That is freaking gorgeous. Look at that. What a stunner. Love the bag. It kind of has a soft satiny feel to it. It's beautiful. So Ipsy Glam bag, they nailed it. They nailed the bag design all the way. So if you're new to Ipsy and the Ipsy Glam bag, you get five deluxe size items. So not full size, but not sample size, kind of in the middle. Deluxe sizes, a range of all different products, and it's $15 a month. And you usually get it with a beautiful bag. They have a different bag design each month. Um, so on the side with it though, I think they couldn't fit this in. We've been talking about this sunscreen. It is showing up in like every beauty box this month. As I said, I do the spoilers for Ipsy, but I do spoilers for a lot of beauty boxes. And I've seen this, this is like my third time seeing the sunscreen in it. So something's going on with e.l.f. They want us to have our sunscreen this month. This is the Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen Broad Spectrum 35 from e.l.f. Skin. What I like about this is that it is sun protection, but it's also a blurring primer. So I am happy to try it. I was talking about how I wasn't so sure about it in the winter. We always need our sunscreen, of course. We should be wearing it every day, whether it's cold or warm outside. But it's more that I just don't usually think of sunscreen in a winter-themed box was where I was going with that. Um, a lot of folks have made the, you know, points though that, you know, um, people are going on vacations a lot this time of year. They're taking all their trips at Christmas and a lot of them to tropical places, going on cruises, that kind of thing. So you need your sunscreen. So, you know, it's, it's all 
obviously needed. I just don't think of it as a winter themed item. But anyway, I'm excited to try it. And I am wondering, is this full size guys? It could be a full size product. It looks full size to me instead of deluxe. I'm thinking this might be a full size bonus. So that's exciting. Let's see what else is in here. We have, uh, what is this? BYOD eyeshadow wand. So, uh, I think that stands for be your own desire. And if I can get it open with these crazy nails I've been sporting. Interesting. So here is, it's like a pin. So it looks like an eyeshadow stick. Okay, I think that's very holiday appropriate for sure. Love that. Love that. Ooh, how gorgeous. Okay, I am all about it. And this does not look like a deluxe size either. Sometimes with like the eyeliners and eyeshadow sticks and things like that, they don't, they do give us like a full size of it. Um, so that's exciting. I feel like we're getting at least two full size items there. And then looks like a palette. What is this? No, it's Hydrogel Eye Therapy. I don't remember this from the spoilers. Evio Skin Pink Perspective. It's Replenish, Collagen Boost, and Deep Puff. So probably some eye masks. And it has hyaluronic acid and it has three pairs in it. Okay, they each come in a little packet. So I don't want to open them yet. But they're going to be little eye masks if you can see the shape of them in there. So that is nice. I love getting eye masks. And you're getting three packs in there. So you're getting a good bit even though it's supposed to be deluxe size. So I like that. Oh, okay. And check out the inside of the bag, guys. It's like a candy, candy cane striped. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> I love the bag. All right, now these are true deluxe sizes now. So this is Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. So very exciting. Now I already own this product, so I already know I like it, but I am fine to get a little bit more. This almost seems like a sample size to me rather than a deluxe, but I am very happy about that. And then what is this? Sophia and Mabel Lipstick Pill. Lipstick Pill. What in the world? Okay, how on earth do I get this open? Give me just a second. I am not sure how I'm going to get this open with my nails, but I'll be right back. All right, here we go. So, oh, <laughs> interesting so it's shaped in a little pill that is super cute all right here is a swatch of that lipstick it looks good how gorgeous is that okay i'm super excited um i don't know what the lipstick shade is is it maybe forever young Forever Young, I think that might be the shade yeah so that was everything that was five products so that was really good honestly you know, sometimes I get a palette, a lot of times I get a palette and Ipsy Glam bag, but I didn't get one this time and I'm okay with that. I don't need more little mini palettes. I am happy with this mix. I'm really happy with this little eyeshadow stick. Like I'm happy they gave me that instead of a palette. Happy to try the um, sunscreen. I'm very curious about this little lipstick pill and love getting eye, I mean, eye masks, you know, so Happy with my glam bag. Let's check out the Boxy Charm now. And again, if you're new to Boxy, while I'm opening this, Boxy is gonna be $30 a month, five full size items, a range of everything hair, skincare, makeup, you know, lots of just items in beauty in general. Alrighty, so here is what it looks like as I open it. We always get a little newsletter, and our newsletter definitely has this berry themed giftable looking packaging on it. Again, our theme was Unwrap Joy. They still have not been really giving us spoilers for next month anymore like they used to. So I don't have anything to show you yet, but they are showing us types of things that we'll be seeing this month, which we've gone over some of these in the spoilers. So I'm excited to see what I got. Let's find out. Here it is from a distance. And I did indeed get the Natasha Denona. Woohoo! 
I can just tell because it says Rosenwood eyeshadow palette. It doesn't say on the outside, but yeah, here it is. The Natasha Denona. Yay! And so we were all trying to figure out what palette this is. We're thinking it's Ipsy exclusive, probably, because none of us can remember what palette this would be. And it's going to be like one of her mini pans. I mean, it looks pretty big. I think somebody mentioned that sometimes they're smaller if they're Ipsy exclusive, but oh, I think it's stunning. Look how gorgeous that looks. It feels a lot more like solid than some of her other pans are. How gorgeous is that, y'all? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to um, swatch it up off screen and I will be right back. All right, here are the swatches. How beautiful is that? Gorgeous. I am so excited about it. Now, this reminds me a lot of the Glam palette. So I'm just going to show you. Here's the Glam palette. Does that not scream? Almost the exact same colors there, guys, I think. Let's compare them. So let's compare these. Yeah, definitely seeing very similar colors. It's like a mini version of the Glam palette, I think. So yeah, but really pretty, gorgeous formula, really gorgeous packaging. I honestly do feel like this packaging on this mini is better than some of her minis I've gotten outside of Ipsy. So super happy with that. So that is so exciting. I know we've all been wanting some Natasha Denona in there and it did show up indeed. So really happy about it. And I think the colors are good. I think they're pretty good. Like they're gonna be neutrals the ones a lot of people will like. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. I got Ofra too. I love Ofra. This is Verified Liquid Liner. I don't do a lot of liquid liners, but I do love Ofra. So let's see what it looks like. Actually, that okay, there we go. Verified Liquid Liner. And it's going to be one of these that's going to give you a much bolder wing very precise. So it's one of those almost like felt pen types. So you want to apply your eyeliner like a stamp almost, like you kind of stamp it around to get it clean. So very nice. I like getting Ofra, so I'm happy with that. I've also got an Iconic London. This is the Triple Threat Mascara. I have so much mascara, but I'm good to try it. Here is what the wand looks like. It looks like it's probably going to be mostly like a lengthening one because it's a pretty like light straight wand there. I like the solid packaging. Very, very elegant. Then Pinky Bee Beauty, the perfect lip combo. 1986. Is that the name of it? I'm assuming. So it looks like it's like almost like a lip liner on one end or more of a lip pen or pencil and then maybe a liquid or a gloss let's try it kind of glossy I think it's a lip gloss on one end and maybe a lip pen on the other let's watch that too yeah yeah I think that's going to be what that is a lip liner and a lip gloss on the other so that comes in handy you don't have to carry around a lip liner with you or whichever side you want to do, or even if you just want to use it as a lip pencil, put it on the whole lip. So, but that's a pretty color, pretty pink. And then the last thing that I got was that Dermalactives um, product. I don't even remember what it was. I think it was really high end though. It was quite high value. So triple power collagen moisturizer. All right. So that was everything in the box. Um, very happy about that, Natasha Denona. Really happy about that Dermal Actives. It's going to be a good one, I think. And um, I could definitely use the mascara and the lippy and the liquid liner from Ofra. I always love getting Ofra. So it was a pretty good box. Pretty good overall. I don't have a whole lot of complaints. I think there was a couple other things I had wanted. Or I remember from the spoilers, but you really can't get all of it. And that's the problem of covering spoilers is I know all the things I could get. 
Um, and I know I'm not going to get every single power pick. Um, so anyway, that was it guys. Hopefully that was helpful to you to go ahead and try to get this unboxing as soon as possible. Let me know what all you are choosing because I think this is going to air during your choice product period. And um, stick around because I will bring you some try-ons. I just don't know in what form yet, but you'll definitely want to turn those notification bells on so you don't miss it. And stay tuned for our January spoilers. So about that, I actually have started seeing a couple of sneak peeks already. I might be able to get those to you soon. So I'll have those out, I think. Might even be able to do a part two after all uh, for January spoilers. However, I want to go ahead and let you know, I've been kind of planting the seed about this for a couple months now, that the this is the month. The end of the month is usually a big... Uh, like my biggest week of the month because it's usually when a lot of different spoilers drop on beauty boxes and when some of my boxes come in for the next month, ipsy included. Sometimes they send it to me at the very end and sometimes the very beginning. It just depends on when it falls. Unfortunately, guys, I am probably not going to be able to get the unboxing next month to you uh, very quickly because I will be out of the country. <laughs> I will be in Costa Rica. So my unboxing next month is going to be late. Sorry about that. But I will be bringing you guys a vlog from Costa Rica. So I don't know. Ipsy? Costa Rica? I mean, I would pick Costa Rica personally. <laughs> I'd prefer to see that one if it was me. But anyway, I'll get you guys the January unboxing. It's just going to probably be a week late, um, later than usual, unfortunately so that I can go be with my family the holidays in Costa Rica. Um, but you'll definitely want to stick around for spoilers coming up and future unboxings and reviews. And you don't want to miss it all. Pop that subscribe and turn the notification bells to on and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.